Hello and welcome back to Valhalla. In the last episode, streaming Chan and Betty and Deal stopped by the bar. Um, and in today's episode, it looks like we'll be picking up right at the break. Uh, our boss, Dana, gave us a break and told us to take Gil with us. So it looks like we're doing that right now. You want one? Hmm? Uh, no thanks, I don't smoke. All right, I got a text from Alma. Boss, Al Alma and Gil didn't fuck. Well, that's a bummer. She is sending congratulations your way, though. Tell her I said thanks, I guess. So, who was a lucky girl? So, it was a guy? I never thought you swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So, it was a girl, and you did fuck. I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know? You don't make things easy for me, though. How so? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative, so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is literally the only way I know how to get through to you. you. Make me sound like some weird loner. You are a weird loner. At least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much, though? Well, after that idol girl came yesterday again, I looked up her disc discography. Disc Discography? Discography. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that word. That's so strange. Sorry about that. I looked up her disco discography and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh god, you didn't fuck the auto girl, did you? No. Why would that be a problem, though? I don't know. It just feel weird. Well, that's that for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and Gil? Hmm? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way we won't tease you so often. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Shut up. I wonder if Alma finds Gil attractive. Probably not. Alma can do a lot better than Gil. But again, jukebox is all set up, so let's get right into it. And turn on the news. There we go. And that's that. Back... What were you two doing back there? Fucking. Oh, so just chatting then. Holy crap, did you two really fuck? John has the face of a man who fucked to death recently. Seagull, you're making it way too obvious. How? What will you have today? I'll have a gut punch. Coming right- Huh? What? N nothing. Uh, gut punch... Oh, okay, so I guess it's just very unlike her normal order. Uh, one planner guide. Oop, let's not put any crime tree in there. Four, five, one, um, agent mix it. And let's serve it up. Here. Stop looking at me like that. Sorry. Are you okay? It's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know Lylam tongues are, are designed to identify food using the chemical components? Our tongues were designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I checked my person personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235 times. That makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. Why all that exposition? I mean, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after last time, I got curious and started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations, you could make a seismograph with them. Huh. And checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans had to understand how they work. And after all those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know, looking up all that suddenly made me feel... real. It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm right here. I feel like I'm here right now. I'm glad to hear that. Alright then, let's try something sweet now. That's more like it. Um, so we've got to serve her a piano woman. It's five aldehyde, five bronze and extracts, two powder delta, three finer guide, and three carmatrine. Age it, mix it. Serve it up. Here. Ah, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I, I usually tried to strike conversations with AIs. But after a bit, they just 
to start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over. That always made me crash back into reality. When I think back to that, having such advanced AIs like you here right now, it's amazing. I don't know, it makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. It helps when I feel particularly cynical. Ah, <laughs> you flatter me. Besides, I've always thought about humans like, nat like nature's lilac. The method might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple form ages ago. If Lila managed to create biological life years from now, we will all have come full circle. So what should I take from this is... You love me? Don't overdo it. Anything else? Let's go with a sugar rush. Okay. Sugar rush. It's two out of hide, one powder delta, optional karma train, mix it. Serve it. Here. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. How romantic. So I take it the, sol the solipsist problem got solved? Yep. All the reality crisis started the other day. My mo Guardian. Call her mom, no one's judging you. M mom decided to meet with the mother of her daughter's girlfriend. It was a very emotional meeting. They both said that they felt like they closed the long chapter. I was moved, but that's when it set in. Why was I moved? I never met any of them, so where do these feelings come from? Why do I feel these things? Do I really feel them? What tells me someone isn't pressing a button to make me feel that? What tells me I'm in my body? What is real? Boom. Oh, don't worry, by the way, I'm fine. Thank God it's unnatural to see you, to see you down like that. Man, that go-go is a blast. Don't you feel like talking a bit more with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick and Gogo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I tried. Jill, I'll be in my office. Cute little girl island. Cam girl. Oh, fiddlesticks. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes at your service. Do you come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey, Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to participate? Sure, that sounds fun. Okay, let's take a recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, a sugar rush over here. Bartender. Sorry, what? Sugar rush, please. Right. Let's serve up another sugar rush. Also, I think I got it mixed up. Um, a few episodes ago, when Dorothy was telling us her backstory, she said she was essentially someone's replacement for their dead daughter. And I thought that dead daughter was our ex because the person also had nano machine rejection um, but I don't think they're the same person uh, because I think even Dorothy mentioned it back then that the way that the daughter died was getting hit by a truck and obviously like our ex didn't go out that way so let's serve it up here good choice Dorothy yay so what are you doing in my turf um streaming Chan yes no, I mean, that's what she calls herself. Man, that's a tacky name. Yeah, but it's my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. What's your real name, then? Behind Streaming Chan's awesome mask lies the humble noble Chen. Nicole Chen, sorry. Why not call yourself Streaming Chen? It's funny that you mention it. You see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. I changed websites, so the name fell out of place. Thus, I became Streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chan, though, so I just went along with it. Oh yeah, I get it. At one point, at one point I was going to call myself Dolores Hayes, but then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. Anyway, I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual, and so I want to treat my loyal audience again. Ooh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey here might seem harsh, but you just need a cracker shell. Shut up. See, you just need to say the right thing at the right time and she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet, you. Completely hard to get, you know it's true. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I'll regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? It's weird that it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, but you see. The contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. He was gonna send it to he was gonna send the draft to his lawyer as it had a couple of additions, but. Um, let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became unreadable. 
Oh, so he used the contract to... Yep, he cut into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his... Okay, well, this is... That's great. I mean, you'd expect certain principles to be upheld even in the adult VR industry. I reported him and he got fired, but now they're looking for a business, a new business person thing. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all over his dick are punishment enough. Oh god, I don't want to imagine that. But I mean, why the contract? I don't mind it if he jacked off to an image of me, but the contract? That's money that you're soiling right there. I would have gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. Some people seriously. Ah, dick paper cuts. I've done enough crazed teacher fantasies to know how they can become a problem. I don't think you need to have an experience under I don't think you need to have experience to understand that. That said, Gil's been grimacing for a full minute now. Just don't mind me. Huh. But you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't we celebrate with beers? My treat. Alright. Two big beers, honey. Alright, so let's go to beer. Two aldehyde, four Brunson extracts, two butter delta, four finagide, and eight carmatrine. All right, and let's go to slot two. Do the same, two, four, two, four, eight. Serve it up. Here, cheers, cheers. All right, I'm not feeling my tongue or my feet. Time to get lewd. Did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? <laughs> this will be a treat for non-premium users. I once met a guy that insisted on doing it in a jacuzzi. He didn't mind being in premium time, so I just started setting up the cameras. And man, was it a challenge. I wasn't just going to stream over the water, I wanted some underwater action too. What did you do with all the bubbles and all? That was the least of the problems, we just turned the jets off. But not only did I have to make a makeshift underwear cover, underwater cover, I also had to keep in mind the heat. Heat isn't good with cameras. Did you try chilling the cam a bit and putting it in a bag with some filling? We made something more convoluted. We took a small cooler, opened a hole for the lens, and sealed it with plastic. I made sure that things looked good through the cam and started recording. Threw in some cooling packs and sealed the fuck out of the cooler. Did it need any weight? Yep, luckily the guy was into bodybuilding, so we used some, more, we used some old dumbbells. He was also ripped as fuck, but that's another story. It was all success, but it's also the last time I have sex on a jacuzzi. Blood rushing, hot water, I felt like I was dying midway into it. Thank god he decided to resume the action out of the water midway through it or I surely would have died. At least the guy didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex while in jacuzzi, my body got so hot the guy almost burned his dick. I considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I'll pass. Besides, those cooling systems require too much maintenance. Wait, I think I should leave, but care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure. Then count me in, I've got the perfect stories. Let us be on our way then. Goodbye bartender. Bye honey. Well, let's start the story. You see, there was this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. A pair made in hell. At least they look like they're having fun. That method of filming underwater water sounded convoluted as fuck though. But I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. We're done boss. Man, don't you just feel great? Were we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with, and... Keep it up. Well, tomorrow's the big day, so get ready. That goes for both of you. Alright, awesome. And it looks like tomorrow is... Or not tomorrow, um... But... It looks like the next episode is going to be the last one. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it'll go. I don't know if I'll split into two episodes, but I know for sure that the next episode will be the finale. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're ending things on the new year. Um, and that's what we'll do in the next episode. So I hope you guys look forward to it. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.